Hey guys, this is Steli Epti with Cozano. Today I want to share a special story with you. The story of how a Thai fruit sales lady out hustled 20 master hypnotists. 10 years ago, I actually traveled with some of my best friends uh, to Thailand and to Southeast Asia and actually traveled through the beautiful country and experienced some of the most amazing food, people, and landscapes uh, I've ever seen in my life. But the story that I want to share with you one is a particular one where we were actually at a shore, at a tiny little shore waiting for a boat to go to a very remote island called Kolipe, which was incredibly beautiful. Anyway, so of 20 people, all of them, I have to say, are actually trained hypnotists, right? So we were a part of this uh, specific workshop. Uh, one of the best hypnotists in the world was actually traveling with us for a certain period of time. And there we are, all trained communication specialists, many of us trained, uh, uh, you know, hypnotists, trained in all kinds of salespeople, all kinds of communication masters. And we're sitting there at the shore waiting um, to see if we can get a boat, right? So one of our guys goes inside to a little little kind of boat renting thing and starts talking to the person about uh, potentially renting a boat. What do we do? We stand around outside waiting for the for, for this to go over and all of a sudden we see a lady, an old lady, I think, you know, probably about 60 year old lady on a bike uh, with kind of a fruit, I don't know what to call, like a fruit stand attached to the bike. And she's like, she sees us and she approaches her target and kind of bikes over to us, steps on the bike, looks at us, shows us the fruits and goes, fruit, fruit, you know, suggesting to us, hey, you guys do want to buy some fruit. We all look at each other and look at her and, and smile and like respectfully the client say, you know what, we just had a pretty big lunch and no thank you, no fruit for us. And the lady continues saying, you know, fruits, fruits, do you want fruits? And we're like, no, no. Really, thank you, but but no fruits for us. And our, our guy comes out of that road, uh, the, the, the boat renting office, looks at us and goes, you know what, this is not the right place, we have to go over there to that place. Well, okay, good, we're a group of, whatever, 10, 15 people. We follow the guy, we all walk over there to that other side of, of the little shore. Um, we put down our staff, uh, our stuff, and, and we keep on waiting. What do we see? We see the fruit lady steps back on her bike and bikes over to the new corner where her, her targeted prospects stand around. She bikes over, steps down the bike, she looks at us and goes, fruits, fruits, fruits. And she goes one by one, looks at us in the eye and goes, fruits, fruits. And again, we're like, we're smiling at each other. A few of us laugh you know, by the kind of magical charm of her hustle. And we kind of all go, yes, we know you really want to sell the fruits. But but again, we told you a minute ago, we really don't want any fruits. So, you know, thank you, but no thank you. <laughs> this is funny, Lefty's trying to hide from the fact that I'm recording a video. Anyway, so she's like, okay, um, you know, we, we're trying to respectfully communicate with her that thank you, lady, but we really don't want to buy any fruits from you. And, and she's totally unaffected by that. You can't really tell at that point if she just doesn't understand that we don't want fruit or if she doesn't want to understand, right? It doesn't matter. She's pretty charming, uh, very non-intrusive. So we just, you know, awkwardly start ignoring her because we already said and rejected her. No, we don't want any fruit. Uh, a few minutes later, the guy that, that organized the group comes out again, uh, looks at us, goes, you know what, guys? Um, boat should be ready in about 10 to 15 minutes. We should wait over there at the shore. He's going to come and pick us up. That's it. We're pretty much good to go. Well, you know, cool. All right. That's all. It's pretty smooth. It took us, it's going to take us like 30 minutes. Uh, this seems pretty reasonable. So we walk over to the point of the shore that he pointed out. And what does the fruit lady do? You guessed it. The fruit lady steps back on her uh, bike and bikes over there to us with her fruit stand steps down, looks at us and goes, fruit, fruit, do you want fruit, fruit? And you know what happened next? One guy in the group goes, you know what, sure, yes, let me have some fruit. And he buys some fruit and the second person in the group goes, oh, well, okay, yeah, I'm gonna buy some fruit too for the for boat ride. And somebody hears, boat ride, yeah, it's not a bad idea. We're gonna be on a three, four hour boat, boat ride, let's buy some fruit. And all of a sudden, 
everybody, everybody buys fruit from the fruit lady. And on our four hour boat ride, we like ate the shit out of those fruits. Like we fucking loved it. The fruits were amazing. Mangoes. Um, I don't even know what kind of pretty, like the most exotic fruit you can think of. And it was, they were juicy. It was ripe. It was beautiful. It was exactly the most amazing fruit you could ever imagine for that like very, very scenic boat ride that we had to that remote, tiny little island in Thailand. And we all enjoyed it. And she out hustled us. And she's just an amazing example to me of how you win in the world. Right? You win not by offering yourself. You know, she could have gone to us, said, hey, do you guys want fruit? We said no. And she could have just taken that and said, you know what? These people are adults. They are communication experts. They seem to know what they're doing. They've made up their mind. No way that I'm going to convince them just by being insistent and following up and following through. I'm going to leave these people alone. I don't want to be an annoyance. I don't want to create a bad Im image of Thailand and Thai people. I don't want to look like I'm uneducated and I don't get what they're trying to tell me. She didn't have all these issues because she only cared about selling her fruit because that was her mission. That was her job. And that's the only thing she needed to care about. She knew she had delicious fruit. She knew there were healthy people standing there not eating fruit. So she knew her mission was to actually get some fruit in our hands and in our stomachs to do us good and to do her good. And she didn't care about what our immediate reaction was because she knew if she exposes herself enough times to an opportunity, she might get lucky and we might get lucky. And she was right. And she's a perfect example of what hustling is really truly all about. Hustling is all about knowing that what you have is good, knowing that People will benefit from buying what you have to offer. And then when you know they qualify, and in her case, she sells fruit, so pretty much everybody qualifies. When somebody qualifies and it's supposed needs to eat or needs to buy your service or product, you follow up again and again and again. And you do it professionally with a smile on your face, right? Just fruits, fruits. With a smile on your face, clean cut. You don't complain. You don't react weirdly if you're getting rejected. You don't take it personal. And no matter where your targets and prospects go, you show up again and again and again and again until they decide, you know what, why not? Let's get some fruits. So let's all get our hustle game to the next level. Learn something from that fruit sales lady from Thailand and actually put our egos aside and our fear of rejection and our pretentiousness and go out there and when people tell us no, let's persist a little bit, let's follow up, let's follow through. And maybe you're going to get surprised and people are going to start buying your fruits at higher quantities than you ever imagined. Especially the people that used to tell you that they don't want to and they don't need to at this point.